for February 16th, 2024. The Sewer Siphon Project hits another milestone. The town to host public meeting related to the Pickpocket Dam. Recommendations for improving downtown parking, traffic, and pedestrian flow. And an update from the Exeter Public Library. For Exeter TV, I'm Bob Glowacki, and this is the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Let's get started. For our first segment, we visited the work site of the ongoing sewer siphons project to learn where the project stands and what the plans are for the coming weeks. With early January storms and a mild start to February, crews have made great progress on the second sewer siphon pipe. On Thursday, February 8th, the pilot hole was successfully completed from Swayze Parkway side to the mill side of the river. With the most difficult part of drilling complete, crews have now shifted to using a new 12-inch reaming drill head to begin widening the hole in preparation for pulling the pipe through. As took place with the first pipe, following the 12-inch reamer, an 18-inch reamer will be used to widen the hole once more. After the second ream, the contractor will assess the borehole condition and determine if another ream is required. Once drilling is complete, the siphon pipe will be pulled through the borehole. The reaming process is expected to be taking place over the next six weeks. Upon completion of the reaming process, it is anticipated that the infrastructure will be operational within six to eight weeks. To stay up to date with the Siphons Project and other Public Works news, sign up for the town's email newsletter service on the town website. Pickpocket Dam has been the topic of much debate at local meetings recently. The draft feasibility study is expected to be published on February 20th. The town is going to host a public information session later this month to go over options in the report that could bring the dam into compliance. In 2019, the town of Exeter received a letter of deficiency from the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services Dam Bureau, which is responsible for ensuring the safety of dams in New Hampshire. The letter stated that based on the results of an inspection, the town would be required to remedy various safety deficiencies with the structure. Over the next few years, the town worked to study options for addressing these issues. In the fall of 2023, a grant opportunity arose that would potentially fund 100% of the cost of removal, and the select board recommended pursuing this path. With the project of great interest to residents in both Exeter and Brentwood, the town will host an information session on Thursday, February 27th from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. in the Exeter Town Hall to discuss the feasibility study of the Pickpocket Dam. The meeting will cover the contents of the feasibility study, present next steps to address the dam safety deficiencies, and allow the public to ask questions and offer comments. A draft feasibility study is expected to be posted on the town website on February 20th for the public to review prior to the meeting. The public comment period will extend for 30 days. Comments and questions can be submitted via email to the town at pickpocketdam at exeternh.gov or mailed to 13 Newfields Road in Exeter, New Hampshire. The public is encouraged to attend the public meeting, but for those who can't make the meeting, Exeter TV will be recording and broadcasting the event on its platforms. More information about the project can be found on the River Advisory Committee webpage under Pickpocket Dam. During this week's select board meeting, consultants presented their findings and recommendations for how to improve parking, traffic, and pedestrian flow in the downtown. Last December, we filmed a public information session where they discussed their findings in detail. Will Tapley has yet another Meeting Minute recap to fill you in on what the meeting was all about. This is your Meeting Minute for the December 13th Exeter Downtown Parking Open House. Exeter citizens gathered at the Town Hall to hear results from the Downtown Parking, Traffic, and Pedestrian Flow Analysis that was conducted by the engineering consulting company, Stantec. Consultants working on the project started off the public meeting by giving an overview of the project and its findings. This is public meeting number two for this project. Um, we had a public um, workshop 
uh, now back in early October. Uh, that public workshop was to share um, results from a parking study we had been conducting throughout the town in September. Uh, we did it on weekdays, weekends, uh, just to monitor uh, overall utilization of the parking through downtown. Um, that's kind of the first phase of this project. We then were seeing if it's the appropriate inventory and, uh, and then we also shared some of the results of the survey that was released about how people move through and park into downtown. Next, they jumped into several draft recommendations for how the town could address issues and improve conditions in the study area. The recommendations included opening restricted private parking lots for public use, introducing parking ambassadors to work downtown, and even bringing back paid parking. I know that there was just a video released by the Exeter Historic Society um, talking about the history of paid parking in Exeter, which I just thought was, was so timely. Um, there used to be parking, paid parking on Water Street, um, and it like paid for itself, basically. Um, but then as um, people started driving out to the malls more and the meters became into disrepair, it, it, it wasn't cost effective, so they were removed. Um, well, after doing our utilization analysis, we believe that bringing back meters um, may actually be a a good way to not only generate a little funds, but also to help with that sort of um, wall of cars that we see on Water Street right now to allow there to be more turnover, which is just great for businesses. Another unique idea involved reconfiguring the bandstand intersection. The draft recommendations envisioned a green space between the town hall and the bandstand with the intent of improving sight lines, pedestrian safety, and traffic flow. By doing an all-way stop like this, um, we're able to cut the intersection down in size. There's a lot of pavement out there to work with, which you can't really feel based on how hectic everyone feels as they're driving through the downtown. So if you're able to tighten up that intersection, well, what can you do with that, other, with that extra space? Um, we were able to mark up pretty effectively a general concept of the town of Exeter taking back their downtown. I mean, giving some sort of center, town center green space. Parking is a major issue, right? And we've, we've talked about it, but there's some additional capacity within three minutes of the downtown that we, we expect could absorb this. The consultants also discussed other draft recommendations, including establishing a new truck route, adjusting zoning, and revising the winter parking ban. If you're interested in learning more, you can watch the full meeting on our XR TV YouTube page. And finally, here's an update from the Exeter Public Library. Hello Exeter, this is Shelby at the library bringing you a new monthly update. The library is still giving out new cards, so if you have not received your 14-digit library card, stop by the library anytime, bring proof of residency, or proof that you're working in town and we can set you up with a new card today. Now the library is getting ready for the solar eclipse in April, so stop by the library anytime before then and pick up a free pair of solar eclipse glasses. There is one per household. So in March, the library is hosting the New England Irish Harp Orchestra. They will be playing here on Tuesday, March 12th at 6.30 p.m. This is a free concert of traditional Irish music, slow airs, and songs. Teen school vacation at the end of the month. Stop by the library's teen scene for some fun uh, art making opportunities. Back by popular demand, the Spring Craft Fair will be on May 4th. That is Saturday, May 4th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We are currently looking for vendors and that'll be open until Wednesday the 21st. Check out our website, exeterpl.org, for more information or to submit your application. That is all from the library. We'll see you next month. That does it for this week's report. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help us spread the word. And head over to the town website and subscribe to the town's email newsletter to get this show and other town news sent straight to your inbox. We'll be back on March 1st for the next edition of the show. For Exeter TV, I'm Bob Glowacki, and this has been the Exeter Bi-Weekly Report. Have a good weekend, Exeter.